What up, fam? So it has been a long time since I built a Brickmania tank. I don't know, what was my last tank that I built? I don't even remember. Either way, I have about like 10 tanks done by Brickmania. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six Shermans done by them. And for those of you who have been following my channel for quite some time, you know I can't pass up a Brickmania set with character on it. And for a while now, I haven't really purchased any new Brickmania tanks, let alone any new Sherman. And it's not like I think the new ones are bad or anything. I just have a lot of Sherman tanks. But let's be real. You can't really have too many Shermans. I named a tortoise after, I mean, a lot of people named their tortoises Sherman. My friend has a huge Salkata tortoise. His name is Sherman. He had a baby Salkata tortoise. His name was Sherman. Uh, unfortunately, that one passed away. We have another tortoise named Bradley Abrams. He's new to the family. Anyways, I have this new Brickmania Sherman. It has a lot of character. It's an M4A3 761st Tank Battalion, the Black Panthers. Oh, and a, a crew pack to go with them. And yes, I'm a couple weeks late because these sets were released during Black History Month. And I, well, I was just doing a lot of things since then. But now that things are kind of settled, I can kind of get into this backlog of Brickmania sets that have just been sitting here for quite some time. And full disclosure, I'm half Black, half Filipino. So when this set was announced to be released, I got super excited about it. This set alone already checks off a lot of boxes for me. One, it's an American Sherman tank. Two, all the Sherman tanks that I've done by Brickmania have been fun to build. Three, this has character to it. It's not just a blank Sherman tank. There is a story behind it, which only pulls me more towards the set. Four, it has a really cool camo scheme. And five, it's related to Black History. Oh, then six, yeah, it, it, they added a crew pack to it. So any set that has a crew pack towards it, I'm probably gonna get. Monochromatic image, vehicle plate. This is Brickmania's M483 double V double S. I don't know if it's VS, double VS, VVSS, Victor Victor Sierra, Sierra Whiskey, whatever. 76 millimeter Cool Studs Inc. number four, designed by Nathan Parker or Sergeant Nate on Instagram. This set contains 696 Lego, Brickmania, and Brick Arm elements, plus one custom minifigure, Brickmania box, blueprint instructions. Well, I haven't touched your tank treads in a minute. Prior to 1948, the U.S. military was generally segregated by color, but notable units like the Tuskegee Airmen and the 761st Tank Battalion or Black Panthers would play significant roles in history both on the battlefield and at home. In October of 1944, the 761st were the first African-American tankers to see combat in World War II, and by the end of the war, the Panthers not only pushed further east than any other unit within U.S. forces, but were one of the first units to meet the Russian army in Austria. They were awarded 391 decorations for heroism and participated in four major Allied campaigns to include the Battle of the Bulge. In 1978, the 761st received a Presidential Union Citation, which recognizes units that display such gallantry, determination, and the spirit of the Corps in accomplishing their mission under extremely difficult and hazardous conditions as to set them apart from other units within the same campaign. Now, to bring this back into my own life, in 2012, President Obama gave my unit the same award three years after our return from Afghanistan. So here is the M4A3 Black Panther Sherman. Now, this is a good looking tank. I did not expect a camouflage Sherman to actually look really good in person. I was a little skeptic at first with the black and dark bluish gray camel scheme, but actually does it justice. And with all this riding all over the tank, it just kind of adds it to a different level. The tank really only comes with two stickers. The Cool Studs Inc. number four, which I'm assuming is the name of the tank. Counterattack all for you. Now, the rest of the writing are all prints. I'm not sure what the Doris Jill Gyre and the Julia are on the sides of the tank. I don't know if it's their loved ones. It's the way they named their tank. I have no idea. But reading the rest of the names, I'm presuming it's the name of the crew. Yeah, the A gunner's position, Lindsay Ball. Yeah, the driver's position with Clark. You have the gunner and loader, William Kaiser Jr. and Smitty Smith on this side of the turret. And then you have club foot buttons, which I'm assuming is a tank commander. Now I could get this all wrong, but I'm presuming that's what it is. Nate, let me know if I got that incorrect. This set does come with an M2HV or 50 cal on the top of the turret. Has a couple of hatches that you can open up, one for the commander, and you can also lift up the hatches for the A gunner and the driver. There's really not that much room to be placing minifigures in there, but you can kind of get them in there to the point where they do stick. The tank does come apart relatively easy. Stick off the turret. And then you can just lift this whole hull and you can see the interior of the tank where the driver would sit, the loader and gunner. I don't know if that's correctly placed where they're supposed to be, but it does a job. And it sits back very, very easily. I think that's the first that I've noticed with the Sherman tank. Now this could be the same setup with all the previous tanks that Nate has done, but this being the first new wave of M4s, I actually like this version. This being the Cody Cell version, which is not that far off for the M4. Obviously this one has a bigger gun, 
which I like a lot. There's a first of Bastogne version, which I love so much because of all the riding on the outside. Now you wouldn't see riding all over vehicles like this back in Garrison, but when you go overseas and you're in combat, since you're living inside these things day in, day out throughout the entire duration of the war, it doesn't surprise me that there's a lot of graffiti all over their vehicles. And like I said, I really love it when Brickmania has character to their vehicles. It gives it a lot of personality. Now in front of me, I have the first of Bastogne. I have the oddball add-on pack and then my favorite of them all the fury easy eight tank which i mean it's a totally different sherman but nonetheless is what got me into brick mania all together and then might as well bring in the super sherman which is a beast amongst itself not world war ii but this gun is massive and i just had to show it off one more time because i never really get to see this as much but oh my god this is such a beautiful sherman tank. american world war ii itty bitty gun israeli cold war ish type time frame i mean massive gun and it's also an easy eight so it's going to be bigger anyway so these two are easy eights the rest are m4 sherman but now i have another m4 to add to the mess and i also have one other m4 that's up there but such a great tank on its own not just necessarily with the tank in itself the build the durability it's definitely oh no it is not swooshable <laughs> i'm just kidding you just kind of see it in there it's not really held together with so many studs but no, okay, it's not switchable. Now this set does come with a tank commander who's wearing a typical tanker uniform that we've seen so many times. The only difference with this one specifically is this 3D printed helmet and goggles on his head. But like always, 360 printed all the way around, has a pistol holster on his chest, tanker boots and markings on his shoulders and all around simple but great looking minifigure. Now the add-on pack has variety. Now all four of these minifigures are different in their own way, none of them look exactly the same nor are wearing the exact same thing you have tanker overalls jumpers two different types of uniforms a tanker jacket one of them is wearing two bandolier you have a pot helmet and two different types of football helmety tanker looking things that tankers wore back in the day but they look like rugby helmets and obviously the mechanic guy is wearing that head beanie all in which are special in their own way and just adds to the character of the tank I am so happy with these. And with all that being said, great job, Nate. I finally got to add one of your Shermans to my own Sherman collection to the rest of the BKM team. Thank you for getting down with the Black Panthers. And if you guys made it with me all the way to the end of this video, thumbs up, thumbs down, like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, guys, peace.